love my boat. What I don't love is the outdoor cushions that came with my boat because, well, they're kind of traditional and I'm much more of a modern gal. So today I'm going to show you how I have turned my cushions from this to this. At first I thought, well, I'll just recover all of these cushions, right? So I started looking online, looking at obvious things like umbrella fabrics, anything that was outdoor fabric, and it was all very expensive, which I kind of expected. But when I measured and figured out how much I was going to need, it was going to cost me about $1,000 in product alone to redo everything. And I thought, ooh, it's kind of pricey, and it's still going to take me probably three to four days worth of my time, because I have not sewn in like seven, eight years. I might be a little rusty. Anyway, then I thought maybe I should leave it to a professional because what if I just dink it up and then I've wasted all that money on fabric. But the professionals were going to cost me at a minimum of $5,000 and I thought, whoa, there's no way we can afford that. So I'm on my own. So I turned to YouTube because I thought somebody is going to have a good idea for repurposing. And sure enough, they never disappoint those DIYers. I found more than one person painting fabric. And I know that sounds crazy, and at first I thought that's not gonna work, it's gonna crack and chip and look horrible and feel awful. But curiosity had the best of me. So I went down, bought the paint that everyone was using, and did a test strip. Check that out. That's only three coats, and they recommended at least four. So I'm happy enough with this then I'm going to go for the gusto and do it all because for about $20, well, I lied, about $30, maybe $60, I doubt it, but I think $30 in paint and I'm going to have new outdoor cushions. So let's go grab the supplies and get this show on the road. over our supplies and the costs. It's a medium bodied paint sponge. I had gotten a really big one and just cut it into pieces in case I needed multiples. That was like three dollars I think. The paint took a little bit of tracking down. I wanted to use the same paint that some of the people in the videos were using and she was one of the originals I found and she actually has her own paint. It's called Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. It's just chalk paint and there were like four or five different chalk paint companies. It was $30 for the 32 fluid ounces. Plastic container was for my yogurt this morning. That was about a dollar. The blue painter's tape we already had on hand. Bought a cheap plastic drop cloth so I don't make a holy mess. That was a couple of dollars. And the water and water bottle I already had on hand. Right. Cushion please, lovely assistant. Thank you. Chalk paint is supposed to be amazing all-purpose stuff that you don't have to prime anything. As long as it's clean, you're good to go. How clean these cushions are, I don't know, but I'm just gonna assume that they are. With the paint, I don't want to use it full strength. Everybody said water it down. Some people said spray your fabric and water down your paint. I tried that the very first coat I did on my little test strip and I thought it was too much water um, and it just could be because I'm watering down my paint enough, I don't know, but I have gone with about a three to one ratio, three parts paint to one part water and I am sponging it on, seems to be doing okay, worked out well for my little test strip here, so that's what I'm going to continue with. It looks really sketchy, the first few coats. And it gets better with every coat that I add. Some people used a paintbrush and a lot of people use sponges. And I think the sponge is a better idea for fabric because you really need to work it into all of the fibers because you're essentially dyeing the fabric but also for like any little creases and crevices you can really kind of work it down in there so I think the sponge works really well
Hey, lovely assistant. Yes. Will you pretty please bring me a knife? Thank you. First coat on small cushion is done and as you can tell it doesn't look drastically different but when you put it up next to the previous you can tell it's gotten lighter so it is absorbing but we want it to do that nice and slow so the fabric stays soft and not stiff to let this dry I'm gonna go take it up to the trampoline and get started on the next cushion okay on to the next one Nice moist environment. One thing I feel like I should mention is that when I started looking into painting fabric, I noticed that some people were actually using latex paints, but the people that used latex paint did say that their fabrics were crunchy. Some did have cracking and peeling, or they'd have to put another like clear coat on top of it. Everything that I read about and watched with the chalk paint Nobody had to do that. Plus with the latex, people were having to like sand with sandpaper in between the coats to keep it soft and also make sure that it was really going down into the fibers. So I feel like the sponge chalk paint method is working pretty well. I say that we're not done yet. This could turn out horrible. <laughs> Hoping for the best. But I think it's going to be good. Um, lovely assistant. Yeah. I think I might need um, an iced Americano. Okay. Thank you. This is gonna be a while. Our oh, cookies. And cookies. Thank you. Iced Americano. You, you are, are a lovely assistant. Now you know why I married him, ladies. Creative juices. Mm -hmm. You know I said, ladies. Plenty of you guys watch this too. I apologize. It's fairly sexist. It's been about 45 minutes since I started and I've gotten the first coat on both of the cushions for the other side. Ready to put coat two on this one. And I'd be lying to you if I said it was easy. This arm has already had a workout and I haven't even <laughs> touched this side. Woo, we've got four coats of this to do. No switch hands. Let's go left arm. been at it for three hours now and I've managed to get three coats on this bigger cushion. I've got four coats on the smaller cushion now and you can see it next to no coats at all. I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. It kind of has a denim or a tweed look. It's a little firmer than you know without paint but um, so far it doesn't feel bad at all. I'm gonna go for like coat five and maybe even six because I'd like it to be a little more solid, um, a little less patchy, and I think it will get better coverage if I go another coat or two. So I'm gonna do that and they'll give you another update. Oh, and my arms are exhausted. I think I will probably be able to finish these two cushions today and then I'm gonna have to take a break. Coat four, here we go. This cushion has five coats now, and I think it looks pretty even. This one has four, and it's still a little patchy, so the fifth coat definitely starts to make a difference. And I'm gonna go ahead and do six, but already I think it's looking much better. It's sundowner time, which means I'm gonna have to take a break. It's like maritime law, I think. Welcome back. It's been
been a few weeks and we've had a few rainstorms, guests, wet bathing suits, and spaghetti stains, but I'm happy to report that my cushions are holding up well. I have found one major flaw, and that is the fact that the paint is not waterproof. And I found that out with the spaghetti stain. When I tried to remove it, I actually removed the paint right along with it and then had to come back with a little more chalk paint and touch that spot up, which led me down a rabbit hole. Started looking at protective coatings. Now, of course, the chalk type paint companies all sell a wax that needs to be buffed in, but I read that it wasn't permanent. It's something that has to be redone and upkept and maintained. Well, on a boat, there are a million and one projects always going on and chores. I did not need to add waxing my cushions to the long list. So I looked for an alternative and came across polyacrylic that lots of people were using over the top of chalk paint. That would be much more water resistant and stain resistant and last a lot longer without needing repeat coats all the time. So I added that to one section of my cushions and did the little wet rag test, rubbed hard, and no chalk paint came off. So yay, it worked. Now I just need to apply it to the rest of my cushions and I'm gonna call this project done. So was it worth it? Well, let's see. I spent less than $100 in products, including my little can of polyacrylic and about 20 hours in time including all the trips to the store to pick up the supplies and everything else so I think all in all for the time invested and the amount of money yeah I'm I'm real happy it looks great so says me but it was inexpensive. It didn't require a huge amount of my time, at least half the amount of time it would have taken me to sew new cushions and a lot less money. So I think it works great. It's going to get us by for a few years at least, and I can deal with it later on down the road if I want new cushions. So yeah, pretty stinking happy about it. I think it looks good. Love my pillows, which I will link to in the post. Um, I will put my pillows, all a little reiteration of all the products I use and you can see all of the before and after photos. And I think that's it. DIY project accomplished. Bring me my supplies lovely assistant and some iced tea. Let's get this done.